techniques. Talking of fabric, Art Deco as a movement inspired designers to think out of the box. It was an explosion of exuberance for women giving way to an unabashed style of dressing. It was new, it was refreshing, there was one of the great, some of the greatest artists sort of creating fantastic you know, dictionary of design at that point. It really was the big roar of design worldwide you know, at that point, especially in Europe. Design houses like Chanel and Patu set the trends and Hollywood fashionistas made them acceptable. No matter what I do and whatever my inspiration is, I'll definitely be looking at the Art Deco period. Sunit's latest collection, a tribute to jazz lady Josephine Baker, revisited the period with flapper dresses with beaded tassels and asymmetrical hemlines. Ritu Kumar showcased her love for Art Deco with her 2013 Spring Summer collection. Cape dresses, jumpsuits with bold patterns and zigzag printed kaftans with hair brooches and feather accessories to complete the period look. Younger designers like Nachiket Barve too have taken a shine to the Art Deco period with these. Tile like embroidery on blouses and shift dresses for the girl of the 20s living in the 21st century. And there are others waiting to be inspired. It provides as a source of inspiration to me all the time. So uh, yeah, at a subconscious level for sure. Uh, not consciously, not yet, but maybe someday, yes. It is an era you can't ignore, for it remains relevant. The oversized pearls, the big chokers and the coloured stones. Like in the 2013 film, The Great Gatsby. With his recent collection, Sunit forayed into jewellery. And this too is inspired by the Art Deco era. A choker with flowers and filigree and strings of pearls running across the arms. Typical of the period. 